Okay, so we've uh, started on the uh, CSS Designer and uh, I've gotten through maybe a couple of, uh, of things through it. You've created a file, you have begun to change the CSS, and we did get into at least one part where we talk about images. And this video is to show you how to get the images up to your site. Scrolling down in the assignment, uh, here's the CSS recipe, the CSS Designer, which I have opened here. And uh, just below that, I have some links. The first one here is called the images folder. And this images folder is a compressed file that has all the images that you need. It's a zip file, but we will not be using that for this video anyway. There's four files that you need and uh, each one, although they're here in case you have a PC and you wanna get them from there and know how to use FTP and all that good stuff in another environment, uh, here we're going to do it through GitHub and uh, this is geared toward a Chromebook audience. So if you're using a Chromebook, you definitely want to follow these directions. I'm going to right click on the first image, header image one, and save that link as. And we're going to save it as whatever the name that comes up is. It's called header image hyphen one dot gif. Tells me at the bottom. Now in my Chromebook, I can save it in downloads, yes, but I prefer to use my Google Drive. So I click on the Google Drive and I get the directory that I already have. And uh, I need a new directory. I have one here for an imaging class and one for a computer science class. I'm going to right click on top of my drive on this side and tell it to create a new folder. The folder is uh, hovering down here. It says new folder. I'm going to type in the name of this class, which is IMED hyphen 2415. I've told you before to always use lowercase in uh, naming files and naming directories. I make the exception here because I need to distinguish what I'm doing with directories plus uh, I never really have a chance to have to type the name of a directory when working with other files except when I'm creating them. That being said, doesn't matter. Um, Clicking on the IMET 2415, making sure that that's where I am. There's nothing here because I'm about to save this file, header one, image one dot gif. I'll save and it gives me a preview of what it looks like. And that's fine. I'm going to right click on the second one, tell it to save the link as the same thing. It's already there. So I can tell it to save header star one dot gif. Then the next one, save this link, save it as page BG, that's the page background GIF, and save. And finally, the last one. If at any point while you're downloading these files, be sure to be checking what the, what the name is. Make sure that they are the same as what they're called in the assignment. And if you see at some point something like that, that a one pops up, go into the file name and delete it. Rather, well, not the delete the file, but delete that parentheses one. Make sure that there's no spaces. Notice how since if we're not using spaces here, there's hyphens. That's a better practice. I'll click on save. And let's see if I got them all in my drive. I'm going to open up a new tab. Go to drivegoogle.com and locally, it's showing me that I have this IMET 2415 that I just created and there's the four files that I need. So cool. Now I need to get them to my website. I'm going to open yet another tab. I only have as many tabs open as you need. Uh, I'm closing them as I don't need them. So I'll travel to github.io or rather no github.com and uh, open up my website, or well, at least my um, my directory, my repository, which is called my username dot my username dot github .io. I'll click there, and it's showing me the files that I'm working on. My index file that have, welcomes everybody to my page, the readme.md, which is this text down here that I can change at any time, and then there's week two. That's where we are right now. Right now we have an index file, we have a styles.css file. This is where the files 
uh, that the website needs will be looked for. I know this because if I click on styles.css, which is where we put in the name of the file in one of the previous videos, I can see that it's changing the font, it's changing colors, but then it's changing a background image and it's looking for it in the same directory as this as this file, as this page, and it's looking for something called pagebg.gif. So it can find it, but only if it's there. So I have to be very specifically on the week two folder because that's where the index file is. That's where the styles sheet is, and this is where the images need to be. It's real simple to move them here once you have them somewhere, and we just put them in the Google Drive. I'm going to click on Upload Files, and it gives me this uh, argument here, drag files here to add them to your repository, or choose your files. I'd rather choose the files than dragging them. So I choose the files, and it actually went straight into the folder that I last used. If you don't see the files that you need right away, make sure that you go to your My Drive. And if you save them in a folder called Lima 24 5th or, or anything that you might have called it, go there and then click on the first one, hold down the Shift key, and click on the last one. That selects all of them. Little check marks on the side. They're ready to upload. I'll click Open. And they're being uploaded. It gives me a report saying that transbg.gif has been uploaded, page bg has been uploaded, header star and header image have been uploaded. So four files that we need are have been uploaded. And I will accept that by committing the changes, just like any other file that you have to deal with in GitHub. It tells me that it's processing the files. And once again, millions of uh, images go up into GitHub every day every hour so give it a chance if it takes too long i can check though now once that it tells me that it's uploaded to go to week two i can check uh the status here it tells me that we have added files via upload i have header image a header star page background and and the transparent background if i want to take a look at them for whatever reason i can click and say okay give me the header image and it loads it it's this group of people and uh, something to know about files in github you can't rename them well you cannot rename image names uh, you would have to delete them and then rename them in your computer and then upload them again so make sure that you have all the proper names and if you, if you don't you would have to delete them uh, individually and then reload them but very important, once again, make sure that you're in week two, that your files are inside of week two, that in ITSU, or rather your username.github.io is where you're at, that you have everything neat and packed inside of those folders. And now that these have been uploaded, I'm going to travel to my website, which is idtsu20.github.io. Yours is your username.github.io. I had already put a link from the home page and I click and I don't know if you remember from the last time but we didn't have a background we just had a color background and that was it now we have this background I can right click on the page view the page source check out the styles and see that yes page bg.gif is what's being loaded and that's what we're getting so that's how you upload files for this assignment. Later on, um, you will be using different images for different parts of your website. The process will be the same in Chromebook. So I'll see you in the next video.